As the election is coming, you know, closer and closer, a lot of its presidential candidates have been revealing, you know, secrets about each other that we didn't even know about, you know, things that happened in the past. They are now bringing it to light just to, you know, spite themselves and just to be a little bit petty. The presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Ashiwa Jubola Tinubu, on Saturday, slammed its counterpart in the People's Democratic Party, Alaji Atiku Abubakar, for allegedly stoking religious bias in a bid to win the 2023 presidential election. Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh and sizzling news all day long. If you haven't subscribed to this channel by now, you should know you're missing, so please go ahead and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Most importantly, turn on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we post a new video. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the details of today's news. Tenobo said the former vice president was an hypocrite for using the issue of a Muslim Muslim ticket as a political strategy, adding that Atiku was exhibiting traits of desperation by stroking religious bias on national television to win the election. The former Lagos state governor stated this in a statement by his media officer, Tunde Rahman, while reacting to claims by Atiku during an interview with Arise News on Friday that he dropped Tinobu as a running mate while running for president in 2007 because they were both Muslims. Hatiku has no business raising the issue of a Muslim Muslim ticket, except as an hypocrite. Perhaps he believes people have forgotten his antics during the 1993 election, after he woefully lost his bid to be the presidential candidate of a social democratic party. What did he do? He canvassed and lobbied harder than anyone to become the running mate to late Chief M.K. Wabiola. When it benefited him personally, Atiku did not see anything wrong with a Muslim Muslim ticket. He saw everything right in such a ticket as long as he was on it. We are saddened to see such a man become unhinged from the truth. So obsessed is he with his quest for office, Atiku is willing to render any form of untruth if he thinks it might gain him a single vote. Atiku may want to be president. However, all he has shown is that he is pathological. I feel sorry for dear old Atiku. Love of his own ambition has eclipsed his relationship with the truth and an honest account of a past. We formed the AC without his knowledge when former President Olusha Gnobasanjo virtually exiled him from the PDP. We lent him our support by giving him the Action Congress platform for the 2007 election. The statement quoted the former Lagos State Governor saying, Tinubu further described Atiku as a man with a paucity of character and love of intrigue. Let me say openly that Atiku offered me the vice presidential ticket in 2007. Let me also say that my religion has not changed. When he offered the position to me, I was a Muslim and I believe he was aware of my religious faith at the time. Atiku's calculations and deceit had nothing to do with religion or his sensitivity to it. His conduct has everything to do with what we discovered about his paucity of character and love of intrigue. The APC national leader reiterated that he arrived at the choice of a former governor of Bono State, Senator Kashim Shetima, after weighing his options and due consultations with stakeholders of the party. All my life, the decisions regarding the team supporting me have always been guided by the principles of competence, innovation, compassion, integrity, 
fairness and adherence to excellence. I was not going to depart from these principles at this important juncture. In fact, it was more important than ever before that I adhere to these principles, the statement added. Also, the national chairman of the Southwest Agenda for Ashiwa Ju 2023, Senator Adebayo accused the PDP of distracting Nigerians by campaigning against the Muslim Muslim ticket of the APC. Adeyeye said the bigger issue was the fact that the opposition party gestitioned its not-South power rotation formula prescribed by its constitution. The senator said the PDP is trying very hard to put the issue of Muslim-Muslim ticket on the front burner. But to me and for any patriotic Nigerian, it is a mere distraction. It is a desperate attempt by the PDP to clutch at any straw at all when they are just too aware that they are headed for the dungeon. So those who are promoting these should know too well that they are just desperate to clutch any straw to keep them afloat because it is their fruitful attempt to prevent their dropping into the bottom of the sea. Wow. The election is getting closer and closer and we are seeing buzz bulls from left, right, center, you know. While I think that um, it is true that the PDP is using this Muslim Muslim ticket to their advantage, like, who wouldn't? It is your loss, Tinobu, for you going, you know that Nigerians weren't going to allow you to go for a Muslim Muslim ticket and yet you proceeded just because you think that you can get a lot of votes from, you know, the northern part of Nigeria. So these people have to use it to their advantage. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.